everybody, welcome back to another Train Sim World 4 video. We're back on the Goblin, uh, and we're going to be going from Barking Riverside over to uh, Gospel Oak uh, in the lovely Class 710 Adventure. So let's get out a photo mode. I just use a sort of the starting shot. Uh, we'll get all of the safety systems on because UK systems are easy. And we've also got the wipers on as well. Which look like they, I swear they were just on automatic. Yeah, they're, why are they on? they've just come on by themselves. There's like an auto rain sensor on it. Because uh, I didn't click for them to come on, so I'm assuming there might be some sort of sensor. TPWS and AWS is, that's operational. That's all set. We're all set there. Yeah, unless there's some sort of sensor on it, because I, I didn't click the. Um, <laughs> I didn't click it, so that's uh, interesting. Uh, we get the doors open. Oh, we've got the got the green now. Cool. So sort of as that one's going, we're then off. And we sit and wait. Yeah, I thought we'd see what the rain's like on this, because um, from sort of all the pictures and bits and pieces, it looked really nice uh, with the new rain effects, which we don't really tend to do videos in the rain very much because. You usually just hear the rain like psh, against the roof and it just looks uh, but on this one it's I can't even hear the rain I suppose if it's got good soundproofing on the roof and yeah, at the moment I can't even hear the rain which isn't too bad I don't mind that see if it's got good soundproofing to it right now we'll get the door shut and it'll be barking next. So we'll do it huddless again, see how we get on. Let's go. So you get a little toot to the orange army there, sort of just. Yeah. <laughs> Line side. Object between, yeah, they've got an object between them and the uh, running rail, so yeah, the sort of line side. Off we go, we'll do a little brake test, we'll get a little bit of speed first, and then we'll do the brake test. Yeah, that's working fine, or at least, you know, we're managing to brake. So we've formed the four coaches. I mean, on this train, you're just looking for the 710 stop marker, that's all. As we sort of go along the, the flyover out of Arkham Riverside. And on like, one of the fastest parts of the journey, um, yeah, after 50 miles an hour. It's quite easy to go over the limit on these trains. You've got to be quite careful. We just scuppered 41 there. It's quite easy to do, so. Cool. And I was doing a little bit of digging on, on, online about what all the different routes are. I know at some point we go over the. Uh, oh, God, what is it? Ch Cheson, Cheson line, I think that goes over us, um, and also the Greater Anglia line also goes over us. I don't think it's the West Anglia main line, or that could be. I'm just, I'm just seeing what we get over and under. And yeah, big fans of Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show off the uh, Goblin line. It's been lovely to do so so far. Goes up. No, it's 50. Wait for the back of the train to pass that, and you're up to 50. Don't know why it's not 60. It's 60 if you're going the other way, but just strangely, 50 all of the way to bark in this way. So, like why 60 one way and 50 the other way? Who knows? There you go. Section coming up already. Yeah, the little sprint ish to uh, to barking. 
a soggy day on the goblin or goblin showers. I'm sure maybe we'll call it goblin showers. I'm not sure yet. Adventure showers. So many different sort of their names we could play around with. It'll also be interesting to see how this train performs um, when the tracks are you know, wet. Will it will slide a lot? Will it will slip a lot? What will it be like? I mean, as a modern unit, it'll probably be just fine. I mean, as long as you didn't stick it on sort of brake step three or emergency, you probably shouldn't will slide. We'll see. Testing it out. Stretch this is to uh, to bark in, and then we have to slow all the way down to 40. That's all much quicker going the other way, though. As the 60 starts, well, I think a lot sooner after barking. Here we are. Station stuff, and we've got to remember that the speed, uh, the stop board is actually really close to sort of as you come into the platform. It's on the well, uh, one of the videos. We sort of went, yeah, we might have gone past it a little bit. So you got to be careful on this one. A little bit of break step two. Yeah, it's literally just there. I mean, you can only probably just about fit the train in. It's actually going to be interesting to see how much leeway we have here. It's just sort of so close, this one. And I must say again, how good does Barking Station look? It's a really well modelled station. And yeah, you only just about fit in. A London Overground service formed of four coaches. Not entirely sure if the CIS would be accurate to real life. It seems to like sort of reusing the sort of standard one. But again, it, it might be great. Yeah, with Grange Park next, let's go. Come on, train. There we go. Let's watch it leaving as well. It sounds quite nice as well. Good guess. Our little Diddy 4 coach, which to most doesn't actually feel like a Diddy 4 4 coach. It still feels like a sort of fairly lengthy train. So we've got Woodgrange Park, Wanstead Park. Uh, Leighton Stone High Road, uh, Leighton Midland Road, Walthamstow Queens Road, Black Horse Road, uh, South Tottenham, Harringay Green Lane, um, Crouch Hill, Upper Holloway, and then Gospel Oak. So a fair few stations, but again, they're all really close to one another. I think the next speed change is possibly the 30 just after Wanstead Park. It says it's 45. Yeah. Gets it down to uh, 30 just after the station. There's already another 17. See, that first stretch, that's already taken us sort of nine minutes of the service. It's quite a long stretch between Barking Riverside and Barking. In the grand scheme of things, as opposed to um, you know the other stations, how close what they are to one another. I think from Barking to Gospel Oak, it's about 30, well, I think it was about 38 minutes, and that's like 43 or 44 of the uh, Riverside extension. Come on, let's get to Woodgrange Park. Oh, a bit of a cutting at the moment, which doesn't last for long. As soon as we're past there, uh, 
with Grange Park will be up onto the bridge for then the majority of the way. So I suppose we're going to try and into the platform. I mean, ideally 30, but I mean, again, they're not short, they're not long platforms, so maybe it's 25. So you obviously want to try and get a gentle stop. You don't want to sort of stick the slam the brakes on full. I mean, look how tiny the platform is there. Yeah, sort of 25 or so. A little bit of brake step two. Back to brake step one. A bit of brake step two. Brake step one. Oh, that's just taking it off. And yeah, that was it. Well, this is Woodgrange Park, just about on the marker. Yeah, Monstead Park next. Lots of parks and roads. And yeah, we are on time as well, which is cool. Thing is with these routes, just don't wait until it says to wait until 11, 12, 20. I mean, by the, di by the time the doors are shut, and you've started applying power, it will be that time. So never sort of adhere to those times. Actually, you don't, don't need to. I mean, in real life, the doors are always shut a few seconds before departure. So, yeah, it's about 30 now, up to 45, and then quite soon it's end down to 40. So you sort of go up to 40, well at least when we were doing the freight service, we went up to 45, this is straight away, well it's down to 40. So that's we can get it up for now. Yeah, fairly soon after, I think the bridge it then comes down to 40. Just for a little section. So we're coming into Wanstead Park. It's just, yeah, just after the bridge there, down to 40. So you can speed up a little bit, you can speed up to 45. You want to sort of come down, just naturally let it come down, which I'm doing at the moment. There you go, bang on 40. And now we're up on sort of the bridge now. And yeah, not too far to Monstead Park. I think this route does look much better on um, Train Sim World to Train Sim Classic, I and mean, it looks pretty good on Train Sim Classic. So on here, I think it's uh, I think it steals steals the spotlight. So the platforms used to be much longer. That is a perfect stop. Here we are, this is Wanstead Park. Are they getting on or are they just going to stand there in the rain getting soaked? I think the latter. And there's not many other places you can get to. It is literally just Gospel Oak. Which is the thing about this route. You just sit on the same train all day. The train doesn't go off the map. Well, they do when they go to the depots. Um go to the depot, I think it's at Wilston. One of their Wilston and East Ham. I've seen one for East Ham, mate. So it's a bit like Cross City where you can sort of sit on the same train all day. But eventually you do have to let it go because it goes to the depot. Right. Let's go. It is Leighton Stone High Road next. Try and get a nice sort of uh, picture, make the most of the reflections on here.
quiet road there. Almost she sort of whizz above the rooftops. I might even try and get a machine that we got a photo here of the 66. Got a lot from this side. This side needs to have a rest. So let's, uh, I don't know, try and get something from this side. Also focus on. Or try and get something with the uh, reflection in the platinum. Yeah, we'll try that. I mean, that looked quite nice, sort of the reflection of the water on the platform, then on the train. And we'll try that. The nice train to drive over the 710, I'm, I'm getting used to it now. The Aventra. But the step brakes were quite funny to begin with, and they st still are funny, the step brakes. But I'm um, getting used to it now. Yeah, Leighton Stone High Road, you've got the 40 through here as well. Step one at the moment, I think. There we are. Uh, so that's a neutral beer. What can we do with the. Uh... Yeah, you can get some nice reflection shots. Have a little play with the photo mode. Door shut, and then we'll be off. Yeah, that was a good time. I was having a little play of the photo mode there. Right off we go. Oh, someone's just managed to. Oh, they managed to get through the closed doors. Early access build. Yeah, my reflection shot didn't quite work out. The platforms didn't really have much of a reflection to them. I'm trying to be creative, but it didn't quite work. So we've got uh, Leighton Midland Road next. I'm just remember what order the Leightons are in. Yeah, Leighton Stone and Leighton. That makes it a bit easier, I suppose. And I've turned Dynamic Weather off. I would actually recommend do not turn on Dynamic Weather for this route. Just don't bother having Dynamic Weather. One, because it's only a 40 minute journey. Two, because you're not travelling very fast, the weather's not going to change much because you're just going slow, sort of, and not far. Uh, and plus, the dynamic weather is just not good. It will, it will go foggy. 90% of the time, it will go foggy. And then just the fog will disappear, then it will, yeah, just don't bother with dynamic weather on a route like this. Dynamic weather only really works for like a long distance regional route. Oh my god. I know it's North London, but come on. It's trespassing on the tracks as the train's coming in. Oh, no, not right, okay, yeah, that, that, that works. And as I was getting used to the brakes there. I was also trying to hear, like, get, getting that one. Because, obviously, when you do a hard list, you can't see what brake step you're in. So, you've sort of got to 
listen to the audio clicks of like the different brakes changing um, which is not too clear between two and three on here so I thought I was still in two then I think I was actually in three and that's why we came to a stop you still got to get used to it I'll get the door shut unless like I'll be in coast story and then we start get moving right Wolverhamstow Queens Road next let's go I can see the reflections here, but when you actually go and photo it, sort of just doesn't doesn't work out. Or maybe it's the focus, maybe the autofocus is playing around with it. Off we go. Still something which I'd really like to see on Train Sim World, which I'm not like disappointed that didn't come off this route. Um I went on top of GSMR, that would have literally been perfect to see a fully functioning GSMR. Um, it's for hudless players having some sort of diagram you can see, like on OMSI 2 if you've got any OMSI 2 players watching you got the little schedule card like that, but on here so now that you've got a card, I don't know, where is the notice board on here there, yeah, you've got it. maybe you'd have your little um, diagram pin there, and it probably wouldn't be that hard to do, you, all you'd have to do is well, I don't know, get a plain bit of digital paper or whatnot, and then just copy and paste the um, this uh, this screen onto it. And that will just sort of also generate for you know each service you do. I'd love to see that. Because then you wouldn't have to turn on the hard at stops. But you might still have to see how the, the bar's going around or the ring's going around. It'd be so nice to have that slightly and a more realistic um, bits and pieces. This is a Wolverhamstow Queens Road. Stop it. Back to one at the last second. And yeah, let it drift to a stop. Here we are. This is Wolverhamstow Queens Road. And again, still on time, which is a nice surprise as always. There's a goblin around here somewhere. Is it on this one? No. I went collectible hunting last night on the PlayStation. As well, that sort of what we would be primarily playing on. Uh, when that can then show it on the PlayStation. And there was a goblin. I think it might have been at the next one, maybe. No. What was that Crouch Hill? I don't know. But you get like a little uh, giggle, and that's and you know that there's a goblin nearby. A little, uh, yeah, a little sort of hee hee. Right, let's go. Onwards to Black Horse Road. Yeah, so I think this one here is that could be the Chesed Line. No, not sure. Well, it's one of them. No, maybe that's the, is that the uh, West Anglia main line? No, I, it's one one of them. So there's so many different lines you cross over and cross under on here. Which is, I'm not a North London local, so I, I don't know all the different lines which crisscross. I know some of them, just not all of them. sort of go through the wetland and you've got the nice little canals and it really feels like you know we're sort of <laughs> out of North London and into sort of the countryside but then you know still well and truly surrounded by urbanness and this 
is Black Horse Road. I'm still wondering what they would be. Obviously, I can't, I'm recording this um, sort of before. Well, I haven't streamed it or whatever. It's just wondering how they drive the 710s in real life. Do they use brake, you know, step free often? Is it sort of as a sort of reserve? Um, yeah. So what's the procedure for driving one of these? And it is South Tottenham next. And we've got that 20 limit as well on this bit. Yeah, yeah now having the adventure in the game. Elizabeth flying at some point. 3, 4, 5. I don't know what differences with this one to the 3-4-5er. I mean, the fact that's a 3 4 five and this is a 7 10 must be a fair difference in things, maybe the interior and the systems. And not too far along to the 20. The thing which, well, didn't surprise me about this route, but I know it's probably going to be quite yeah, some people are going to really like it. It's the amount of freight on this route. There's so much freight. I'm talking about freight. Here's a freight train here. Which I don't think we have all of them on the Xbox. Um, actually, no, we might. Oh, hang on. So this is not freight. Oh. What have we just come across? Okay. Some sort of rail tour. In the, uh, I think that's the Flying Scotsman. Oh, two coaches. Which is meant to be the West Coast Rail Company coaches. Umbra out unlicensed. Well, that was cool. But going back to what we were saying, there's a lot. Yes, yeah, there's a lot of freight on this route. A lot of freight. So even if you don't really, you're not really interested in the overground, the 710, if you like your freight stuff, then it's actually a pretty decent route for doing freight um, services. Especially if you get stuck behind one of these and you've got sort of chase yellows the whole way. Quite cool. Uh, it's 30 miles per hour coming into South Tottenham. Or South Tottenham. I suppose we'll sort of get down to 30 before that. So then we'll have to cut, off, cut it off. Here it is here. Right, coast. I think we're in coast. We're not slowing down, we're not speeding up, so yeah. And the 30's just here. And this is South Tottenham. Lovely signal bus, which I sort of wish you could go in. Tough tell, please model the. T I think there's two little. I fear this, that, this one, and there's another one somewhere. Come on, other station has is it? Yeah, the, 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 there's another station with a signal box. Is it Crouch Hill, Upper Hollow, one of those two? It would be really cool if you could actually just go inside them. It would be a great place to sort of sit and watch trains. South Tottenham, and we've somehow lost a minute. Not too sure how, but somehow we have. How on earth have we lost a minute? We left. Yeah, we left Black Horse Roads about well, 20 seconds behind. That was it. We haven't been following anything or. Train, move. Oh, 
security. Uh, TPWS and AWS operational. What are we done with? There we go. Let me sort of. Well, <laughs> the train was unhappy. Well, we're certainly going to lose time because of that. Saying that, it's only 30 miles per hour. I think it is 30 miles per hour, basically all the way to Upper Holloway now. So not, not really territory where you can make up time. would like to see that going back to the point earlier made is having a diagram a diagram card a schedule card on the left there on like the notice pads which is sort of auto generated in from the well the schedule on here but onto like a piece of paper maybe they can even make it look slightly realistic sort of the diagram format I know there's something where you don't have to go on the HUD to have a look at the uh, timings. I know you can write down the timings but every service God, it's just a little bit this bit, it's like come on. The trouble is with this bit, it's 30 miles an hour but it's one of those stretches of tracks where you're thinking why on earth are we going at 30? It's near enough, completely straight, it's not like a you know, winding round. I mean, literally, uh, Wanstead Park, uh, Wolverhampton Queens Road, sort of that whole way at Leighton, the Leighton stations. Through there, it's quite bendy on a bridge, and it's 45, whereas here's 30, and it's like this. So surely they should have popped, popped the limit up. Why is it so slow here? Well, coming into Haringey Green Lanes. There's still 30. There's number 710. Another tiny platform. See all the platforms on this, you just about fit the train in. Any, any more than four coaches, I mean, you, you, you can't do any more than four coaches. Yeah, having go green lanes, and, yeah, and now we've lost two minutes now with that weird mishap at uh, South Tottenham. Although not to worry as you get yeah, 10 minutes at Gospel Oak. Yeah, it was at 10 minutes at Gospel Oak and 15 minutes at Barking Riverside. So you get plenty of time to make up for delays. I mean, on this route, you're not going to be delayed very much anyway. There's not really anything to delay you. Sort of majorly. as well and yes I have plugged in the keyboard as we are on Xbox it's always worth having a keyboard plugged in are they meant to be musical no let's look at the warning on there automatically now. Well, I can see the traction sand thing flashing. There you go, it's gone off now. That's the East Coast main line which we might be able to see a train. Nah, maybe not. Something's got the double yellow there. 
Yeah, we got uh, Crouch Hill next. This might be on the signal box, the junction here. Yeah, 36 minutes now, maybe 34 travel time. It gives you an idea of sort of how long it takes to get from one, one side of the route to the other. I could quite easily, I mean, I say this, I could probably sit on this route for a few hours at least, just come backwards and forth. Maybe we will on, on a live stream at some point. Backwards and forth, wait the 10 minutes, wait the 15 minutes. is Crouch Hill. This one doesn't have a signal box. Is it Upper Holloway then? Maybe Upper Holloway. Yeah, closing before the ring goes round. Quite risky though, because if you uh, don't time it well, you've then got to open the doors again and then close them, so then you end up losing time. Substantially. There you go, we're off. Apologies if I sound a bit. Uh, it's uh, well, it was a 5 a.m. start today. Well, up at 4 a.m. and then starting work at 5 a.m. Uh, and I'm recording this. Well, at 17.42, so uh, quite knackered, I thought I want to do a bit of goblin, a bit of chilled out goblin, and so I'm just sitting here wondering what to do. So it's not too far along to Upper Holloway, is this with a signal box? There is another station, I think there's two stations with a signal box, South Tottenham. And is it up a Holloway? And both of them, I'm like, oh, it'd be cool if we could actually go inside them, like on the Just Trains Blackpool Branches route, where you can go inside the signal box. Or just, I don't know, it's nice. Nice being able to go in it. Especially when it's got interactable features, which I don't think any do. But that'd be cool if you could touch things and press things. Yeah, you can speed up, but we're not going to speed up much because, well, uh, uh, here's the signal box. Yeah, so I think there's like two Upper Holloway, South Tottenham. And that does not look like a 710 coming along, that is a freight train. Yeah, light loco. Well, a light loco. Actually, every time I've said that, that's like a freight train. Rail tour. And then a light loco run. <laughs> Maybe there will be a freight train next time. But yeah, there's a lot more you can see just you know, as opposed to just the 710. Um, which I think is a, a really nice thing about this route. You sort of expect it just to literally be the 710. That's it. No other train. But there's quite a few other trains you can see. Wow. Car 66. And that's really about it. <laughs> And there's like a, I think there's a service in the 20, a steam train rail tour. So there's a few extra little things. Right, let's go. Next station stop is going to be Gospel Oak. Yeah, the train has done quite well in the rain. Um, a little bit of wheel slip. But I mean, literally no wheel slide. It's been 
It's been good as gold. And the rain's not annoying. The, the, the rain's not annoying, and the wipers aren't annoying. You get that. You get that combo. Like I think it's on the Bakerloo line, where the, the rain's just like, psh, like on the on the roof. Um, and then the wipers like bang, 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 really fast, and there's no sort of slow mode. Um, yeah, this train literally is perfect to drive in the rain. No annoying audio. You can barely hear the rain. Is it? Is it thumbs up? I still want to see where that line goes down there. Sneaks off somewhere. In fact, I'm gonna. It's a bit risky. I'm gonna have a little look now. Google Maps. Just as we're coming into Gospel Oaks, we should probably be quite careful. Where on earth does that line go? Definitely gonna end up speeding. Gospel Oak, right. We'll come down to 20, which it used to become. Right, what is that line? Does that connect up to the North London line somehow? I found it, I've located it on the maps. Where do, oh hang on, that looks like some sort of main line it comes onto. What's that? Not the middle of the main line, is it? Right, I'm sort of there driving the train whilst looking at Google Maps. So we're a bit late to the 20 there as well. So blimmin' Google Maps. Yeah, we were. Blimmin' Google Maps. I'm blaming Google Maps. Uh, that line goes... It joins up to, yeah, the the Midland Main Line. And yeah, that's where that line goes. It joins up with the Midland Main Line. Here we are though, this is Gospel Oak, and you've got about 10 minutes here and then off you go back to uh, Mark and Riverside. So just a very sort of friendly amount of time. It's not too long, it's not too short, it's literally just perfect for getting a cup of tea, maybe getting yourself a little snack. Absolutely perfect. Here we are, DRA on. Goes off. You go to on. Uh, yeah. That would be register. No, not the window. We'll get all the cab soaked. Yeah, here at Gospel Oak, and this one goes back out at at, 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 at 44. Oh, hang on. Oh, that can't. No, that's not right. That wasn't too bad. Literally, the inciest bit of speed. I know literally every bit there we went over the limit. We went to 46 on one. Again, 46 there again, hardly. Um, and yeah, that little bit at the end there where we were looking at Google Maps and we went, we sort of missed the 20 board and we think we got about 22 or 23. Um, why is the same gospel on there? Well, 1154 it goes back out. So yeah, you've got 10 minutes, which is. Just Perfect. Well, you might want to probably put your laptop away because it's going to get. Ooh. See, is he leaking something? What's going on? That's how going. I can see trains from R4, trains from R, trains from R2. Definitely some sort of cryptic thing on there. But what's in the newspaper? Take a peek in Peak Forest. Keyboard audio. Um, hello there, you're right. Hot chocolate, please. It is a lot of these things, I like these little, little details. Instead of it just being closed up and no one here, there's a bit of life to it, which is realistic, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that's coming up for me. Hopefully, everybody has enjoyed it. Actually, I wonder if that's actually called the local stop spot. Like, is that actually. Is there a little cafe? There is a, there is a little hut there. I just remember that is the cafe. Yeah, there is some sort of little area there. Um, but yeah, that's coming up for me. Hopefully everybody has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places. Discord, PayPal, and Merch Store. 
Thanks for coming in. Hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Thank you.